What's going on everybody and welcome to the RC Retro Channel. Do we have an exciting episode for you? That's right, Parma International Days of Thunder RC Kit right here. Probably like, what? Never even knew that this existed. And you know what? I kind of knew of it, but didn't see very many of these out there. Never alone even saw the box of this. Basically, for me, it was like one of those rumors that a Days of Thunder kit existed at some point in history. 1990, this smash hit movie, Days of Thunder, debuted. I'm dropping the hammer. No, you're not. Still to this day, an amazing movie. And one year after that, in 1991, Parma International teams up with Paramount, who put the movie out, to create an RC kit that featured not just one mellow yellow, but supposedly all three of the cars featured in the film, mellow yellow, Hardee's, and City Chevrolet. Now, I consider this an RC unicorn, because like I just stated, haven't seen very many of these. Occasionally, from time to time, we'll see the Chevy Lumina body, a reproduction, let's say, MCI stickers, um, maybe a McAllister reproduction body of the Chevy Lumina, um, maybe even Team Blue Groove as well, I'm not 100% sure. But I'll never see the car, actual, the chassis that is, the actual chassis that's in this kit with the actual body. Nor have I seen the City Chevrolet or the Hardy's body. Um, in doing some research for this kit, you don't really see any of these in doing a Google search. There was an article in RC Car Action Magazine that featured this kit right here, but does not show supposedly the two other ones, that being the Hardy's and City Chevrolet. So, I don't even know if those existed because there's no pictures of them with this kit online anywhere that I could find. I've seen this only in the RC Car Action Magazine. Hi, just me. Sorry for interrupting, but I just wanted to give you a quick update. I'm in the middle of my next build, my Kong head. I know the update's not about this build, but this video will probably be out in the next couple weeks or so. I wanted to give you an update regarding the Days of Thunder Mellow Yellow. And while the advertisement in RC Car Action Magazine said that they were gonna put out the Mellow Yellow and a few other of the NASCAR liveries, um, unfortunately, I found nowhere online any proof that these other kits ever existed. And then right after shooting this video, I was reading through some of the literature, and well, when you read, you find out things, right? This is a kit contest that you could fill out and send in to win one of the next Parma Days of Thunder kits. And by filling it out, you qualify, and they're asking you, which do you think we should make next? City, Chevrolet, Superflow, Hardee's, or Exxon? And so I'm just making an assumption that Parma only put out the Mellow Yellow kit, never put out the other kits, like stated in that advertisement, and basically is getting a general consensus from the people of which kit they should put out next, which I don't think they ever followed through and put out because I can't find any evidence that these kits ever existed. I could be wrong, but there you have it. Enough said. Let's get back to the video and enjoy the rest of the Mellow Yellow unboxing. So the fact that this popped up on eBay, that's where I got it from, was blown away. This originally was about $120. I bought this all these years later for almost three times that amount. But I think it's well worth it because this is a real collector's item right here, okay? And when this did pop up, funny story, first person I contacted was my buddy Keith over at RC Icons and was like, yo, check this out. And he writes back to me, kind of like LOL, coincidentally, He's like, last night I saw this and so did Glenn from Tamiya Legends and we were talking about it. This is Key talking, saying last night me and Glenn were talking about this kit that popped up on eBay, whether it was worth buying or not. 
Keith said he's in a pass. And when I was talking to him, he said Glenn is still kind of mulling it over as to whether he was going to buy this or not. So sure enough, I checked in with Glenn. I'm like, hey, buddy, what's up? I heard you're in the market for this kit. What's going on? If not, I want to pull the trigger. Glenn responded back, pull the trigger. And so I put my offer in because it was the best offer. You know, they asked like a ridiculous amount of money. But I gave them my best offer. And sure enough, within half an hour, they responded back and took my offer. So you could do the math. This was originally 120 and I paid almost three times that amount, you can kind of get a ballpark figure as to how much I paid for this. Now, this is a very simple kit. I'm going to keep this video short, even though I just was kind of like rambling on a little bit. Very simple. In the magazine article from RC Car Action, it's interesting, it says it's only take you about 30 seconds to put this kit together. I mean, that's not including fitting it with electronics, but it's super simple. It's basically all fiberglass components. The chassis is one long piece of fiberglass. And then basically you're just assembling the front and the rear and that's it. 30 seconds, not quite sure if that's accurate, but that's what they're saying. And it's very simplistic. Um, you have a ball diff in the rear with a metal axle. You have a metal um, motor plate. And then in the front, you just have your steering assembly. You have your black like NASCAR looking wheels, you have low profile foam tires that you have to glue on, and then you have an awesome Parma, re I'm not gonna say reproduction, but an awesome Parma body that is a Chevy Lumina body with the full detail stickers here. And then of course, you have this awesome, awesome box, which I think is just stunning. It's in mint condition. The actual seal that you see right here was never ripped or cut. It's just over time, the glue just unstuck and it opened up. The box opens up from the side. And boom, check that out. It's in great condition, front and back. Also, one other cool feature in here before we open this up is that there's no body post with this kit. So you're not going to be reaming any holes this body sticks to the chassis with Velcro. So this way it gives it a more realistic look. All right, so let's open this up, take a quick look at everything. Motor, battery, and radio not included, of course, just like many other RC kits. And let's very simply pull all this out. Everything fits nicely right here. Very light box because there's really not much to this kit. So, open this up. Boom. Boom, boom. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, it's nice, beautiful. Even has the grill right there. That's nice right there. In the play. Very detailed Chevy Lumina NASCAR Parma. Awesome. And there's not a protective film on here as the Parma bodies from what I'm used to. The Daytona Thunder up there, which is a Tamiya, but came with a Parma body. Um, does not come with a protective coating. So we'll put that right up there. You're going to have to make sure you wrap up the outside. Some literature, Days of Thunder, instructions for the Parma 110 scale, Days of Thunder, not really much, there's not really much to go with over here. <laughs> Check this out. Building the chassis in under 30 minutes, well, there's only three steps. Putting the chassis together, which has nine holes, that allows you to, to, to attach the front and the rear of the car in three steps. I'll get close-ups of that. Then you have another manual, not even a manual page here, shows you the decal placement. Quality assurance kit contents right over there. Replacement parts, which you're probably not going to be able to get your hands on. And then two beautiful no bubble decal sheets right over here, or as I like to say, stickers. And this is very interesting because I'm taking a look at these for the first time. You'd think by looking at the car, 
you would mask off a, a portion of the car to do green and then the black, but they actually give you the green stickers to place on the outside. I hope they stick. Warm soapy water method and a little blow dryer. There you go. So that's awesome. We'll get close ups of all this. Again, oh, the full advertisement. That is pretty cool right there. That, that's pretty cool. I might, might actually have to frame that. I have some space right there. I don't know, we'll see. Awesome, and then there's really not much to this kit. Not much. This is your chassis right here, your full fiberglass. It is open. I'm gonna pull this out. No, there you go. Check that out. That's it. We have what I think are gonna be your front and your rear mounting plates for the body. You have some metal pieces in here. Here is your axle right in here. This this is not open, so I don't want to open it yet because I'm going to be very honest. I don't necessarily know 100% if I'm going to build this. You're like, dang it. <laughs> I know I build a lot of vintage kits on here. But I don't know if I'm going to build this one because this one is like an RC unicorn. You don't really find many of these. So there you go. I'll get close up to that. Here's your, your second bag. One, two. I guess you can consider this your third. The front mounting bracket for the front and your steering. There's only another fiber glass plate in here. Your mounting bracket and then your steering. Nothing to this kit, nothing. And we have your wheels. There's one loose rolling around. And then you have your tires, your, your low profile foam tires right there. And that's it. It is a glorious kit because, well, you don't see very many of these. So if you do have one of these or a body of this or the bo whatever you have pertaining to this, and if you do have the other versions, yo, after this video airs, make your way over to my Facebook page, the RC Retro Facebook page, and underneath the post where I post this video, Post some pictures, share, go there. That's what the vintage RC community is all about. So there you have it. Days of Thunder, love the movie. Big Tom Cruise fan. Um, and big fan of this kit right here. This is absolutely amazing. I'm always looking for something different. Um, always looking for something that is, you know, hard to find, that you don't really see too often. And right here, I was able to bring this to the channel and I'm super, super excited for this one. All right, now something else you'll also notice right in time for the holiday season, I got my Tamiya sweatshirt many, many months ago. Many months ago, I saw this on Tamiya USA's website and it said like discontinued or not available. And I was like, what the heck? And I posted a thing on my Facebook group and everyone's like, well, I don't know, I've never seen that before. You know, Tamiya's weird, they're wacky. And then all of a sudden, a couple weeks ago, they said they got it in stock. So check this out. I'm a size medium. I'm only 5'9". I weigh 170 pounds. Medium is a little big. But if you want to order these, make your way over to Tamiya USA. These are super cool. You have your logo right here in the chest. You have your logo in your arm. And boom, check that out in the back right there. All right? These are pretty cool. So now I have some uh, Tamiya swag. <laughs> All right? I thought I'd just throw that one out there since I'm wearing it right now. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Days of Thunder, this is awesome, <laughs> all right? And thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. And of course, I'll see you all in my next, all right? Take care now.